some open comments, Coach, if you would. Yeah, it was a, a really good win for us on the road in a, in a hostile environment uh, against a, a very solid team that's really played well in their, in their limited amount of, of action in playing six games. Uh, we had a lot of respect for, for Monroe and what they've been able to accomplish in playing very competitively against uh, Ole Miss and, and LSU on the road. Uh, and then with their, with their one Division I home game, the way they played against Sanford was unbelievable. The game was over with at the tip, so we knew we'd have to play well, and, and we put together one of our better games. I thought we got contributions from a ton of guys for the first time in a while where we had eight or nine guys play well, which always bodes well uh, for, for any team, really. Um, and then the, the cherry on top of the whipped cream is the fact that um, we shot the ball the, the, the way we did. And we've said this for two years, when this team shoots the ball well, we're pretty good. And, and that was the case tonight. How hard was it to scout this team? I know you had some tape on it, but not yeah. nearly what you've had on some other other uh, opponents. Yeah, you know, we, we still had plenty. We, we had six games on them. And, it, you know, it's heck, we had more on them than, than we had on our first two or three opponents of the year, if, if you think about it that way. Uh, Monroe is... Um, they're, they, they're, they're very structured. They're, uh, they execute extremely well. I was most impressed coming into the game with, with their defense. They really defended Ole Miss outside of Marshall Henderson's little 8-0 run he made by himself um, at, at, uh, in Oxford. And they really defended LSU to a tune of, I think, I think 71 at home. I think it was 71-64. I'm not, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. But this is a team with outstanding defensive numbers. Um, so. Uh, to, to be that efficient uh, against a defense like this um, is uh, bodes well for, for, for us in the future. It's, it's pretty promising. Did y'all try to get Oloteo in foul trouble or just kind of happen? No, it just happens in the flow of the game. You know, in, in fact, tonight we tried to go, we tried to call less guys numbers. Um, it's, it, we're still a work in progress, as most teams are, but especially us offensively, especially in the half court. And um, we, we gave our guys probably a little bit more freedom tonight. Uh, ran more of our secondary stuff and a lot of spread pick and roll stuff and it just so happened it, it, we had guards making plays off the bounce and and we were able to draw some fouls. Do you think you guys just played really well? Did, did you have a good matchup? Did you have a good scout? What, what was the, you beat them by, by over 20 so that's yeah. it's a sound beating. What was the difference in the game? Well, I think the biggest difference is, is we just we shot the ball so well. Um, and then it, the, probably the contributions off the bench too. You know, if you have a starter hit a couple extra threes than normal, I, I don't think it, it helps you quite as much as if that those extra couple threes come off the bench. And uh, with Jaron and um, Cordarius coming off the bench, hitting jump shots for us, it just opens things up for us. It opens up, um, you know, some of the dives by our bigs. So uh, we got deeper post ups with Mike and, and uh, Isaiah. It opens up driving lanes for our, our playmakers in Speedy, Heem, and Alex. And those guys took advantage. And, and then I think we played equally as well defensively. We've been in a really good rhythm for five or six games uh, in terms of the way we defend. Hopefully that carries over in, in the spring.